Hello everyone, it's Chelsea from Paper Rock TO Studio. Wow, feels like I haven't made a video in ages, <laughs> which is kind of true because I made a bunch of them before I went on a trip. And then when I came home, I had a lot of things to deal with, couldn't get anything done, haven't made any art for a week. So this one was supposed to come out on the first, but today's the fifth instead. So what this is, is my art journal page for the a uh, year-long traveling art journal project from Canva Cor Canvas Corp Brands Creative Crew. That's the design team. And each of us have a journal that we've sent out and it, the journals are getting mailed to a different person each month and then they make a page using predominantly Canvas Corp Brand project stuff, you know, papers and sprays and whatever. And then um, mail it to the next person and at the end of the year we should all get our journals back with lots of different art inside. So this one, this journal belongs to Milo I think. I'm not sure. I've already mailed it so I don't really know but um, I don't really pay that much attention but I did do a quick flip through, it, through at the beginning to show you some of the other people's pages that have already been done. Um, and <clears throat> it looks like this journal is, well, doesn't look like it is half white paper and half craft paper and so for my month as we're going through I get half white and half craft so the first thing that I did is to try to unify these pages um, first I put some white gesso on the white one just to seal it to make sure that any sprays I used didn't seep through to the other side because this is pretty thin paper then I used some uh, baseboard that's the flat non shimmery mists um, in ivory cardboard and sky to do some splattering and spraying and stuff so that uh, the pages aren't the same color but they have a unity because they've got the, some of the same colors on them and then this this piece is from one of the um, ephemera packs it has it's looks like it's uh, an old poster that has all different types of eggs from birds, wild bird eggs on it. And I thought it was really cool and that's what inspired my page. So I decided to stick it on that side, also using a piece of the, the craft colored paper from Canvas Corp Brands. They have a lot of different kinds of papers and stocks and things. And I used that as an extra layer and rounded the edges because the edges of the pages in this little spiral book are all rounded. So I used a paper punch from Stampin' Up to round the paper edges of the little poster and the layer that I put on there. Then I got out a bunch of different scraps. These are all things that that are from Canvas Court Brands, different, um, I'll list the paper packs that there was, I had three different paper packs that I used some scraps from and then and then I also had, uh, it's, Canvas Court Brands has like a scrap pack, like you can order a scrap pack of just things, they just put the things together and, and you don't know what you're going to get, it's uh, just whatever. <laughs> I had a couple of those as well, so I'm just picking out different bits and bobs of papers like you do I mean like I do anyway <laughs> and I'm going to do a collage on this right hand side over the craft colored page and so I'm not paying attention at all to what patterns are on any of these pieces of paper um, or the weight of them or anything all I'm concerned about is the colors and so I start by making a little kind of a branch um, out of some paper. It's uh, it's from the Architectures Pack and it's just kind of scruffy paint. <laughs> a lot of the Architecture stuff is like aged, well probably all of it is aged stuff, you know, things that that remind that are nostalgic, that remind you of things from the past, things that maybe your grandma had. Um, or things that still exist and are treasured um, that you've collected you know that kind of stuff um, it's cool it's a cool line and you really should check it out of course uh, everything that I'm using for these projects I will put in in links 
in the description box below and I'll put a link to the architectures line so that you can take a look at all of it it's it's unique as of last year and they came out with a lot of really interesting stuff interesting nostalgic stuff it just you look at it and you you think about the past and you think about how maybe things were built better back then you know <laughs> you know what I mean so some of the papers are from that some of the papers are just scraps from other paper packs that I had scraps from they're just they're just scraps and I'm using my scissors I started out I thought I was going to tear all the paper and then I decided no I really wanted a more neat look than that so I'm using the scissors but I'm making sure not to cut a straight line I'm using the scissors and going wavy 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 with my hand and making what I'm doing is building a nest <laughs> in case you haven't figured that out yet it's a nest I know it just looks like a mess but it's a nest I promise I'm also using some of the burlap strings uh, whenever I use the burlap for anything I end up with the the strings they you know I'm pulling them out from the edges I'm making it frayed or whatever I want it frayed so I sometimes just save those thinking well, I'm gonna use those for something sometime I don't know what and so I've got a few of those in different colors how do you get the burlaps the burlaps are sold as individual sheets or uh, the way that I've got them is I buy the mixed media packs which has um, corrugated paper it has printed papers it has the burlap it has some canvas it's got printed canvas it's like a whole collection of stuff that coordinates in a pack and when I decide to buy something new from canvas corp brands I often buy those packs because I feel like I've got something that's all coordinated together in fact their whole all their lines really to me the colors that they use are coordinated pretty well across the entire line of products which is a huge line of products <laughs> they they seem to use the more subdued colors um, not a lot of real bright bright colors but they go, seem to go really well together there are some bright colors like the teals and things like that but mostly they're using a lot of the more aged looking stuff so I had no trouble finding little bits and bobs and pieces and scraps from other projects that I've done for them to just use in this uh, this way and it's a great way to use up scraps that you have whether they're you know from canvas corp or not it doesn't matter they're just whatever scraps that you have you see me do this a lot um, I like to glue paper to stuff <laughs> I just really enjoy it I like to make pictures out of paper uh, I like to use up my scraps and uh, kind of recycle in that way and not waste anything so it's fun but th this nest is maybe a little bit different than you might have seen me do it before um, oftentimes I, t I will tear paper and I will do what I call paper painting which is making an image out of different pieces um, on a piece of uh, deli paper and then cutting it out which is what I'm going to do right now in fact I'm going to make a bird so I got a piece of deli paper out this is just a scrap of deli paper and deli paper if you don't know is it's similar to tissue paper except for it has uh, something that makes it stronger so tissue paper will tear if you try to do this um, I think for a lot of the people who don't know what it is like if you're in Europe or something and they just don't they don't have deli paper it's it's what you uh, like if you got fish and chips they would put a piece of paper in there and it's probably something like that or maybe baking paper if you um, use baking paper to put in the bottom of a cake pan so that it comes out clean things like that um, it's similar to that but it's translucent like tissue paper so it is easy to see through it and so I made my little drawing of a bird on there and then I, I kind of traced over it again and I'm using that second one as a bit of a pattern a sloppy pattern um, a very sloppy pattern because I'm just laying it laying the pieces over the other pieces of paper then and just cutting around it 
and then going ahead and attaching those using my matte medium, which is what I was using, by the way, Liquitex gel matte medium to do all the decoupaging, all the, the collaging that I did. Um, so then as I cut each little piece, I'm attaching it to this drawing so that I can fit the pieces in to where they belong. And as you can see, as I do it, they're not perfect. They're not, but they're close enough. When, when I get done, it's fine. It's not the end of the world, you know, um, if they're not exactly, exactly perfect because I'm doing it by feel by sight, not necessarily trying to make little exact patterns to be exactly perfect. It's just not the way I do things. <laughs> Very organic feeling things, but you get the idea of the technique that I used, I guess, which is a little bit different than some of my other pa paper painting. This is all done with scissors, um, no tearing involved. so. For the little feet, I wasn't going to make a pattern for the feet because I glued them over the top of the drawn bird and then I will be able to see on the other side how I can cut out the feet. So there was there was no need to make a pattern for that. That would have just been extra fussy cutting that I didn't want to do. <laughs> Limit the amount of cutting I have to do. So then once, once it's all dry and cut out, I've got my bird shape, which I am then going to attach using the Liquitex gel matte medium to my page. And he's kind of standing, it's probably a she actually, standing on the edge of the nest, protecting the egg that's in the nest. So I like the way it turned out. I think it's really neat looking. So then I had this uh, piece of 12 by 12 printed paper from Canvas Court Brands that has a couple of words on it that I decided to use. Um, I've used different pieces of it for other projects and so I had leftovers. So I used the word chirp and I used the word nest just to add a little bit of um, visual interest. I cut those out with my scissors. And then I, of course, gave everything a really good dry. Then I've got my Stabilo All pencil. This is a highly water reactive pencil. Um, this is the black. And I kind of draw around shaded areas. And then I go ahead and blend that out using a water barrel brush, which is a type of paintbrush that has water inside of it. So you don't have to keep dipping it. And that adds a really strong shadow around my nest and my bird. This is a great step to help your collage blend into the background and also stand out from the background at the same time. <laughs> Seems, you know, the opposite, but actually it makes it feel cohesive to the page and not just like some glued on paper because it kind of blends in the edges, the, the edges where one paper is higher than the other. It fools the eye into seeing it as one thing. Then it also, of course, adds a shadow to the edges of things so that they stand out more from the background. So important step for you who are learning collage. Um, there's different ways, of course, to create cohesion with your collage or to blend things in. But this is one way that I really like. I like the effect of it. I like the way it looks when it's completed. So I, I do this often. And all it takes is a water reactive pencil and some water. Nothing fussy. So like I said, this is the fifth. Um, I do got want to remind you guys who are following along that the day after tomorrow, the 7th, at 8 my time, 10 o'clock, Peg's time, we are going to be live on our new live channel, um, Art Joy of Sharing live stream. So if you haven't already, go ahead and uh, go over and subscribe to that channel so that and turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified when we go live over there. Several people ask, will those 
recordings be available on the channel afterwards. They will be available. It will be automatically recorded and you can go back and watch those live streams anytime you want. But it won't be on this channel. It will be on the Art Joy of Sharing live stream channel, which is a whole different channel. So you do need to be subscribed to that so that you can... I mean, you don't have to be subscribed to it. You can go search for it if you want, but it's a lot easier if you subscribe yourself to it and turn on the notifications so that you will be aware of it going on. I miss a lot of live streams that I wished I could have watched because I never seem to be aware. Uh, I don't tune in at the right time, but of course I can always go back and watch them after the fact, so no worry about that. So I left this little part in where you saw how I spilled half my bottle of uh, cardboard colored mist. <laughs> See, you're not the only one who does it. I do that stuff all the time. I take the lid off of something and then I inevitably tip it over. It's just always what happens. But yeah, I wanted to use that little um, straw on the inside to do some edging around the outside of my pages. So at this point I thought I was done and then I thought, you know, this other side really needs something else. It needs a quote. So then I was looking at some of my different scraps and I couldn't find anything that I thought went with it. So I went ahead and used my little uh, label maker that I've had for ages and completely forgot about it. And then the other day it was in the utility closet. I was like, I could have been using that all this time on my pages. So yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, all those things. Go over to the uh, Canvas Corp Brands blog and check out everyone else's pages. And that's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye.